In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use the quick use resource hook API in order to fetch some data from the backend at component startup time. So the data is going to get loaded on the server the first time that the component gets rendered. And then the data is going to be displayed to the user using the use resource API. So what I have described here is a resumable HTTP scenario where the data is fetched when the component gets first rendered and then the application is going to resume on the client side. Let's then see what it looks like to use user resource. So I'm going to define here a resource containing the data fetched from the backend and I'm going to call here use resource. In order to trigger user source, I need to pass it here as usual, a function. And this function can be, if necessary, an async function. So user source is going to await for the resolution of this promise. Now here, I'm going to load the data from the backend using this utility function, getCourses. So I can go ahead and I can call getCourses. And now the data is going to be made available here via this resource. If you check here the API for resource, you're going to see that you have a couple of values available. You have a loading flag that is going to allow you to display in your template if the resource is still loading or not. And then you have the value of the resource. And if you notice, this is a promise. When this promise resolves correctly, it means that the data is available. If it fails, then it means that the HTTP request has failed. So based on this, we can already go ahead and use this here in the template. And let's start by displaying here the loading status. So I'm going to add here the loading status as an expression and I'm going to access resource and I'm going to print out here this loading flag. And next, we are going to be displaying here the values that we have retrieved from the backend, which will be a list of courses. So for that, I'm going to add here an expression. I'm going to access the resource and I'm going to grab the value. This is a promise. So I'm going to call then on it. And when this promise resolves, I'm going to be receiving here a list of courses that I want to turn into a JSX node. So let's wrap this in round parentheses. From here, the JSX node is going to look the following. I'm going to go to the courses array that we have received here. And in order to make sure that we get here some type information, we need to use here use resource, but we need to pass in here as a generic parameter, the type of data that we expect to get back from the backend. So we are expecting to receive a list of courses. So now that we have provided that type information to use resource, we now have available here that courses is going to be a map. So the result of calling here this resource is going to be an array. And that is why now we have here the map operator available. So here I'm going to be receiving a single course that again, I want to turn into a JSX node. So I'm going to just print out an H3 tag containing the title of the course. Let's add here an expression and let's just print out the course description. So as we can see here, we are loading a list of courses from the backend at component startup time. So the first time that the component gets rendered on the server and we are printing out everything to the screen. The use resource function that we see here, remember that this is a hook function. So it has memory, it knows where it's being called and for which component instance it's getting called. So this hook function is going to know that the first time that it gets called on the server is going to call here, get courses, render the data and output the data as plain HTML and send it over the wire. On the other hand, if this component gets lazy loaded into the front end, 
then user source is going to know that when the component gets initialized on the front end, it doesn't need to call the get courses function again. The data has been already loaded in the initial rendering that we got from the server. So the function knows about the context where it's been used and it's going to behave differently across calls to the component rendering function. So now we have a better idea of how to use resource to display data from the server. Let's go ahead and let's try this out. I'm going to remove here the use of the loading flag and let's just focus on printing out the data here to the screen. Let's then switch to the browser and see this in action. And as you can see, when we reload here the page, the data gets immediately loaded here. So notice how fast this is. This is because the page has been rendered on the server. This means that if you notice here the network tab and here the Ajax requests, when I reload the page, there are no Ajax requests being made to the server to the slash API slash courses endpoint. So this data that we see here is server side rendered. The call to the backend was made on the server to render the page and not on the client. So if I search here for this string, for example, and I hit view source on the page, I'm going to find this here in the initial HTML payload of the page. So you can get your HTML payload by clicking here, view page source, you're going to get this and we can see that all this data here is part of the HTTP HTML payload that we got whenever we refresh here this page. So now this is just the beginning of how to use user resource. So in the next few lessons, we are going to build on this simple example, showing you how to trigger this request again, if we need to. But right now we're going to be replacing this by the use of the resource component. This is a special component that is meant to be used in conjunction with use resource that ensures that your data is rendered in an optimal way.